Oh, this is disgusting. I mean, I think it's a gem. We are the shortest stack, but... Oh, dude, I don't know what this is, actually. I have no idea what this hand is. I don't know what to do. This is disgusting. This is disgusting. Hello, everyone. How's it going? Welcome back to another stream here on the Poke Staples channel. Thanks so much for joining me on this beautiful Sunday. Today, the plan is play great, and uh, I would say we're on a downswing, personally. Um, I think we're last seven out of eight Sundays we've lost, which is not a great record. But, you know, I think I'm playing good poker. I'm pretty, I'm feeling good about my game. So we just gotta stay the course. I don't have anything else for you, chat. I think we should just get started. Call on the flop, turns an eight. Bit of a weird spot here. There's a lot of very strong hands. Trip queens, straights. Then there's 9x, and then there's flush draws, and then there's straight draws, some of which have hit. We check. There's definitely some bluffs available in our opponent's range. They open on the button. Question is, do they bet all their ace highs on the flop? No. Do they check their queen x on the flop? No. So bet, check, bet. Do they check jack 10 on the turn? No. Do they check queen x on the turn? No. Do they check nines full or eights full on the turn? No. Do they bet the flop with every ace x? No. Therefore, I think we have a reasonable bluff catcher here. Against a button range. Against middle position? No. Way too wide. Against a button? Yes. I think so. <sighs> that feels good, man. That feels good because it's kind of hard to find. You have to really follow the logic on that one, man. You've really got to piece every single street together, including the C-bet, to find that one. It's hard for an ace high to go bet, check, bet. And it's not representing any of the other value heads. The problem with my sizing choice is, can I go three streets of value going two thirds, two thirds? That's kind of the issue with with this sizing approach. Uh, I think no, I think I cannot. Check, check, we beat tens, good. Ace queen, we raise, get three bet on the button, we call with the ace queen offsuit. Not a lot of sense in four betting here, right? If we four bet, we're going to get them to continue with ace king and ace queen and fold ace jack. That doesn't seem like a great uh, game plan with ace queen, you know? So we just call, go to the streets. And the streets are whatever at the moment. Small enough to call, but we're not loving it. It's going to be one of the very worst hands we peel with if we decide to peel with it, you know, because king 10 is better, king queen is better, queen 10 is better. Uh, but like seven, six, six, five, five, four. And then I'm wondering about what do we do with like sixes, you know? Is it better to peel the two overs here, the over sixes? But it goes check, check of the turn. We check the river. And we win against what? Shuts down here. Interesting. We win with the ace high against queen six suited. Okay. Okay, no bluff. All right. King four suited, we raise. All right. Go for the hero call there for the bounty. We take it down 97,000. And against Arch Jones, we are betting turn and river, I think. Wow. This doesn't make sense. This does not make sense. It's probably a flush draw. I mean, most likely. Which one? <laughs> Which one? So check, check, flop, bet, turn, raise. You know, there's just not a lot of 3x in this range, especially the checks flop. Do they raise turn with ace high? No. So it's just like, it's going to be clubs or diamonds most of the time. Or likely a weirdly played, like ace three suited, I guess. Fives full, weirdly played. I don't know. Sub 30 blinds here with the fives. It's... Especially against a button open. Yeah, it's a gem. I guess like middle position, I think a flat is fine here, but not against the button in the small blind. Flipping against ace 10. Good start. Good turn. Let's go, Dottie. Come on. Let's go. Big pot coming away. Feels good, man. Ace king suited, ready to go. Against Jow. Good luck. Flipping. Can we run it twice, dealer? Berry, please, Berry. We are all in, I think. I don't think we have another choice of sizings, and I don't think I want a flat. So against the 3x, we're all in. Snap with queens, please. It's, we just, there's no other choices. It's all in our call here. And obviously our hand looks strong, but we have to do this. There's, the stacks are too short. We have to go all in. We can't tell a story other than this. Hello, James, can you give me one advice to a person starting their poker career online? One for now, let's say both scenarios, online and live, if you have any, that is patience, I think. I think the most important aspect to having success in poker over a long period of time is being patient. And I think people want to get to the end point or get to the exciting point really fast, and it just doesn't work like that often. So be patient. Take your time. There's no rush.
So the weekend on playground, wanted to say hi, I didn't want to disturb you. How were the games? Um, game yesterday was not great, stay cold. Game yesterday was kind of grindy, and we didn't do so well. It was kind of unfortunate day for us. The other days, the games have been pretty good. It's been fun, man. We unfortunately haven't had a great week. We're stuck like just under 2K uh, after about 40 hours, but it's been a good time. I'm excited to continue, man. Stay cold. I'll be around playground a bunch as well, so whenever it works, would love to meet you, man. I invested in sports cards 10 years ago, cash out during COVID, doing it for fun now. Will maybe sell again in the future, it changed my life. That's epic, Jamie312. Your timing is impeccable. Great work. Where can I get more info on the golf channel side project you spoke of yesterday? The channels are golf staples. So you can see it on Instagram, on Twitter, on YouTube, on Facebook. Golf staples is the channels. I don't have anything to release yet, and it's kind of taken a back seat in the short term. This is crazy. What a heater. Should we be gonna call 10 6 deuce? Half pot. The 2x pot over bets, I think, is the best way to play this hand. We don't really want to induce check raises here, you know? Like, it's great if we can get them to fold the king high and the ace high flush draw, basically, which I think we can. By the way, I think we can definitely get them to fold those hands by overbetting. I also think our strategy is good when we have a nine there, I think, as well. Um, they have seven, six. They hold. Unfortunately, we don't hit. It's unlucky. But uh, I think we make the most EV taking that line. So I, I like the play, even though we didn't win. Michael flatting in a spot where they shouldn't really have many flats. Probably small pairs here. Uh, checks to us, checking. So we're gonna raise here, obviously. We have a great hand, but we want to take some time because realistically, we're not gonna find bluffs here in the first 10 seconds. They're really kind of obscure. Take it up. Check again on the turn, I think is good. And block bet the river. Trying to get a call from a queen here. Ooh, this hand is really close, I think, actually. You sometimes flat these middle pairs in spots where you don't think you should, because if we jam here with eights, are they calling with sevens? That's kind of the question. So you, you do have a category that just calls in this spot. The thing is, it's really nice to get king jack to fold, right? But do they just jam king jack? Probably. So we're in a very tricky spot with eights here. Very, very tricky, I think. But we probably jam. Good luck. Probably. Not loving it, but probably. The ace king is a dream in the grand. 10 7 deuce. Uh, I'm going to go for a C bet this time. Some bet, some check with this hand, I think, is what the answer would be in theory. We call this all in. Ace 10 against 5 4. Please hold. It's kind of a lot of equity in this pot. It's kind of a lot. Come on, let's go. Ooh, that's a big raise. I'm going to fold. I'm gonna fold. We're on the bubble. I don't like playing the Jack-10 against the 3x there on the soft bubble of this tournament against a shorter stack. Pretty good spot for us. And we're gonna fold this on the bubble. Although we would love to defend. It's a beautiful hand, but I don't think it's worth it. One off the money against a covering opponent. Theo's all in. We fold. Aces, Jack-7. Wow. The money bubble has burst. We are in the money chat, 2,500 cashed. I think I have the coolest piece of poker software you've ever seen today. It is called Hybrid Poker. Brand new piece of poker learning software where you test your score against myself, against Daniel Negreanu, against Bill Perkins, and see how you score against the three of us, as well as other poker players as well. But Hybrid Poker learns about you, the player, which is, this is really cool. As Hybrid Poker gets to know you, it's going to tell you what to work on. There's a link to the IQ test down below. Try it for free. I think you'll like it. So try it out. Theo, everything I got, bring heat. Ace 10. Ace queen, if, if we're being greedy. Ace six, if we're being greedy. Ace queen, if we're being greedy. Which has less equity here? Ace queen or ace six? Probably ace six because of the counterfeit stuff. Ooh, threes. Okay. Come on, let's go. 3 million chips coming our way. Fantastic news. We're down to 12. 9-8 against 6-7. Emil has kicked out Sylvan, and we are on the final table of the grant. 
Final table hype of the 1K Grands. It's the Party Poker Big Tourney every single Sunday chat. We're coming in five of nine. Beautiful. Uh, this is uncomfortable with nines. Honestly, our hand strength is not as strong as you would think under ICM in this spot with everyone being very close together. Uh, I think we have a very difficult spot here. Oh, man. Oh, this is really, really crappy. The one thing that protects us is this opening range it makes it really hard for people to squeeze behind us. But we're, we're playing for set value here, essentially. Uh, I'm going to hold. I know, I know, I know you don't like it, chat. I know you don't like it, but just trust me. I've got some reasons. I think it's a fold, man. I do. I do think it's a fold. As sick as that is. I don't think there's enough upside here. This range is really polarized in the first place, but then also it's like we cannot stand up to aggression post-flop. We have all of these stacks behind that can squeeze, right? Shoving is a nightmare, disaster. You can never do it. It's, it's disgusting. We can three bet less than all in, right? We could three bet fold. But then what are going to be some better three bet folds than nines? Well, ace five suited is going to be better. We have better bluffs because ace five suited blocks ace king and ace queen. Nines blocks nothing. Well, the four or five, not enough to play multi-way here. Ali, we continue on on our 24 blinds. Fold to Matthew Stumpf. Yeah, I think we have a raise fold here with the ace 10. It's got good blockers. I think it's a good hand, but we're going to have this happen often. And we have to play flop pretty straight, I think. I also think my raise sizing is actually a little bit of a mistake here, but that's okay. How's the sesh been? Good. I mean, we've got a profitable Sunday, man. We're on the final table this grand to be determined how great of a day it is, but uh, it's been a good day. We're happy. Hey, Shaq, another good raising hand. If they jam, I think we have to fold, but I'm going to raise to 700 here. Slightly bigger than I just did. And check fold. Three ways for sure. Olsen and Jensen to your left is always fun with chips. Yeah, well, not an easy time right now, but you know, that's okay. We can we can stay patient. What else are you going to do here? The way to win is just have uh, queens, you know, and check race is great. But seven of eight on our final table. One shorter stack. We are on 13 blinds, but you know, two missed flops. So be it. Moving on. Ace eight, ace three, hold it. They have, let's go. We are down to seven. All right, ace king, be our baby today. Good luck us chat. All in on the final table of the grand. Seven left, 3483 cashed. Is it our moment? Johannes deciding, sends the kiss and folds. Johannes, I'm kind of indifferent to be honest. It was a tough hand to play. Do we have any jams here for 15 blinds? If we ever want to jam a hand, it's this one, right? But we should probably raise call instead. Oh, dude, I don't know. I really don't know what to do with this hand. I'm not sure. I'm probably going to jam. The thing is, we're tied for the bottom with these three with seven left. Raise calling sucks because we flip a lot, right? But then we induce ace five suited, ace four suited, ace three suited. Uh, and we get some like broadways to fold. I guess I'm gonna jam, but I have no idea if this is the right play. Like jamming because less of a th thing under ICM than typical. So I'm just gonna shove and I don't know if it's right. It definitely gains chip EV, but it might not be the right range construction, you know. I don't know what to do with this one. I really don't. I can live with it either way. I think it's a tough spot. And I just don't know the answer. Well, what, what can I do? All I have is my poker knowledge and I can bring it forward. And that's all I have. Ace King's a great hand. It's not a hand we want to jam. Not that there's going to be any jams on the stack size anyways. It's just a raise call. Someone ship it in with ace queen, please. Okay, flat. It's not our first choice, but it's fine. Just flop an ace. It's a good squeeze spot for Matthew, for what it's worth. It's a great spot. Because this this range not three betting is uh, kind of capish. I mean, I don't know how much they balance here with like... Uh, big pairs. This flop is not very good. It really smashes this flatting range. It just crushes it. There's definitely some boards where we get aggressive, right? Like on dry boards, when they just flat pre, it's like they don't have the nuts very often. But this board is like really bad. We're three ways as well, which I didn't even notice. But three ways, it's for sure a check and fold, I think. Oh, this is disgusting. I, mean, I think it's a gem. We are the shortest stack, but oh, dude, I don't know what this is actually. I have no idea what this hand is. I don't know what to do. 
This is disgusting. This is disgusting. I wanted to say gem. I don't think it is. Uh, I think it's either a raise or a fold. I think I'm going to fold. Oh, dude. I don't really know. Uh, I'm going to fold. Why? Well, pairs go down in value, right? So small pairs like really suck under ICM. We are the shortest stack, but there is still some ICM pressure in that we're not that different from these other three stacks. So if we jam, we're kind of making a mistake, I think. I, I don't think we're going to show profit under the ICM with a jam here uh, for 15 blinds. So do we want to min raise? Like, it's just not a very good hand to min raise. You know? Like, we have to raise fold to everyone at the table. We can't raise call with eights. Uh, it's just it's just sick. I just hate this spot, man. I don't know what to do with this hand. So look at this. 60, 6 million. Sexy 6 million. 4 million here. Do we rejam with fold equity here? I think so. I think we do go for the rejam as short a stack. I do think that they can raise fold. It's a good luck us. Let's take it. Let's take these chips right here. Sometimes you gotta stay aggressive and this is the moment. Let's go chat, let's go. Like I said, let's go. Queen six two pair, we are down to five. Let's go, what a ladder baby. 4,900, next pay jump up to 63, then 86, then 12, three, then 18, eight. Johannes can jam so wide here, so wide. Ace nine would be a value call, but the problem is we're tied with these two, right? We are tied and the pay jumps are big. Uh, but not big enough. Dang it! Diamond. Diamond. Oh, let's go! I don't know what to do, dude. I don't know if ace-nine is a good call or not. I don't know. It's close. Ace-ten is obviously a call. Ace-nine, I don't know. Oh, I might be the worst. I might be the worst, but I could be the best as well. We don't know, but we are still in the tournament. Check, check. We check way more often here than normal. Again, because of the ICM, so just a lot of check check. We check the turn way more often than normal as well. They bet a million, we call, I think very clearly. They overbet the river and we fold. And uh, nice hand, well done, you play excellently well. Good for you. So they're gonna play aggressive here, chat, but here's the deal. When we check back flop call turn, we look like ace X, we look like ace X. Now king queen, king 10, queen 10, hearts have all missed. We have the 10 of hearts, not great. Blocks all those. If we lose, we join the pack as well. I think we should fold. <sighs> yeah, we're really high in a range too. Uh, I'm gonna fold, I don't know. Wow, uh, hit it. Oh, dude. For the ladder, imagine with the spades. All right, we're in fourth. Emil is the shortest stack. Is all in, and it's a call. Hold it to ladder down to four. To get to four. Let's go. Four left. Okay. This is an easy all day four bet jam in their face. There's no question. Aggressive opponent, the best four bet jamming hand next to East Five suited. It's a ripcity.gov and don't question it, chat. Just believe in the power of the East Four suited. Believe in it. All in. We're behind. That's a four. Oh, let's go. Raise call, ace, 10, eight, check, check. Betting frequencies really increase, but here's the thing, our actual hand loves being a two street hand. Check, check. It's probably a one street hand on this king. Pleats some of the decent hands that can uh, call in the big blinds. So I think it's a bet turn, check river kind of spot here. What sizing though? I think half pot represents a big bet, yeah. I'm gonna go 800,000 check river. If the turn's like a deuce, I think we can go like 800,000, like two million probably. But this king is not the one, you know, like king 10 calls in the big blind, right? King eight suited calls in the big blind, that sort of stuff. That is different though, because that is a very strong hand. Those two pairs have now been counterfeit. I think we want to go two million. What do we do against a check raise all in? Uh, I don't know, cry. Don't expect it to happen though. No. Uh, it's kind of interesting here. I think I'm gonna play it aggressively and play it fast. Play it fast with these queens suited. Take it down, queens. Check range. Not the right stack depth to play turns by check raising here. I think call is better. Four is bad. Seven is bad. Deuce is bad. Club is bad. But if we want to make the most against this range, we check call, right? 
We just check call. It's good. Uh, turn is obviously terrible, but we have a great bluff catcher with queens. We call, and then we decide on the river what to do. Uh, it's super painful. It's just, it's just, this is pretty crazy bad. <laughs> this is a pretty crazy bad situation. Oh, let's go. Thank goodness, dude. Whoo, sweet. Six, eight, six going for the thin value bet on the turn. Check, check. Three bet fold here. Mm, I must fold. I have to check back. When we raise and they jam, it's a nightmare, disaster. We really don't want to create that. So we would raise call a lot of aces. We're going to check a few. A6, A7 are primarily going to be those checks. Probably Ace-8 as well, offsuit. Um, we flop great. Bet of 400,000 on a board where we're going to see a decent amount of checks here. It's interesting. We don't love to see it. We prefer to see the check, you know, but we like our hand. We have top pair. We have the six of clubs blocking the flush, but also with some protection. Uh, you know, if a club comes, we make a flush. Makes it a little bit less like they have a flush. Really big bets. These bet sizes are polarized, right? We are bluff catching when they choose these bet sizes. Um, they're not going to be value betting worse hands for these sizings. So I think we should call in the turn and then probably fold the river to like a massive bet, I would think. Well, it's interesting. I mean, most of our range is 8x and jack x, but we do have some flop flushes as well and some good hands. Like, you know, we have good hands here. Two. Fold to the overbet for sure. Uh, it's like there's just not enough bluffs. It's not even close. Uh, I think we raise here, yeah. Especially covering our opponent. The two of them are tied. We need to raise pretty aggressively in the spot. Check folds. I think we are going to bet here. With the chip advantage, we bet here often. Turns a six. This is uncomfortable, I'd say. Oh, nice. Nice. It's a pretty good spot. We have a good bluff catcher now. Um, yeah, we win. But we beat Jack-10, Queen-10, Queen-Jack, Ace-High floats. We beat a bunch of stuff, and it makes it hard for them to have good hands there when the board pairs nine on the end. Oof. Really interesting against a check raise here. What we want to do, but... Call. Turns a deuce. Uh... I think I'm gonna double barrel against better aces here is a good idea. I think 1.9 million, maybe? 1.9 million? Double barrel against better aces. We can hit a three in the river. Yeah, a three bet call. Three bet call. Do it. Do it! Do it. Ah! <sighs> Do it, man! Do it! Uh, but we get a call there. Ace-Jack, 8-9, okay. We could get a double of the 8-9, a lot of outs, but no, GG, C, Jensen. Do we limp raise or do we raise four bet? We raise four bet, I think. They bet, uh, rare, to be honest. With their stack and their position and this board, often gonna check. I don't like seeing the bet. Of course, we still like our hand, but like, I don't like it downstream, you know what I mean? Check. We only have one street of value from worse hands here. 1.2 is fine, I think. It's honestly really thin, but we're going to try it. I don't know if I like it. Because of their flop betting range, I, uh, I don't think I like this bet. I think I want to check, actually. I feel like I've made a mistake here. Okay, we win. We don't get punished. I think I've made a mistake. Uh, defend. Flop is interesting. Middle pair, open ender. One, we continue past the flop, unless we see a weird sizing, but we should see a small sizing here. See one third, fine. The turn is where this hand gets difficult, I think. And we have choices with our hand. Not difficult on the jack. Check call again. If it goes check, check, we value bet river, basically. You know. uh, we could check and try and induce a bluff, though, as well, with our lower straight. They bet 1.6 million. I think it's call and then decide on the river, but probably call, call, right? Most of the time, with the straight. Straights are hard to make. Okay, call. Four on the end. Check, check, check. We win against a thin value bet, probably. King 10, we call five and a half to one, or five to one. Uh, we peel with the back to our straight flush draw, but we don't like the flop. We're gonna have to fold the turn a lot. Even though on the turn, they're most of the time gonna bet like two million here or something, but peel flop and we now have a disaster. On the river, we have an interesting scenario, I would say. Let's block bet the river. I like the block bluff here. Like, we're representing an ace-x that limp called. You know what I mean? Uh, I think it's kind of cool. And ace-nine, fair enough. 
I guess. I mean, it's it's just like it's almost too good to where I don't want to do this. Like I almost want to flat, but kind of sucks in the small blind for sure. So we'll three bet. Fold. I think we limp call with ace four. Pretty awkward stack size. Thirty blinds deep. Ten eight deuce with a check call probably, unless sizing is really big for some reason. Check. Moga two. Let's get it done, man. Could bluff here. Jack X, 9X are better as well. Do How much Jack X do we bet on the turn? Uh, check, I think. It's it's not a nightmare to, to bluff ace four, but it's just like, do we have better bluffs? Um, should we check the ace highs and then bluff something else? The board like really connected there though. King six, eight, let's bluff. One and a half is good. We've really missed here. So like not a great double barrel hand. Fold. So whatever hand. It's a hand we're going to play post-flop, probably. But it's also not a hand that we really need to raise bluff against this limp. We want worse or better to raise, you know. It's kind of in the middle. Very nice flop. 10-4 deuce with some hearts. Bet, I think. Turn is very bad. Their ace hands play this way a lot. Uh, so this is a really bad card to see. Hearts... Sometimes as well, so it's it's a bad card. Granted, we flop top pair. Top pair is pretty good, right? Like we don't like things with a four or a deuce. With the ten, it's pretty good. Five on the river is also bad. <laughs> a lot of three x hands. Any three x with a heart is going to check call, probably. It's a nightmare run out here. Basically, it depends on sizing, timing, what it is we do in the spot. It's a nightmare. It is a nightmare. They block bet, getting four and a half to one with a ten. They probably have a 10. No, they don't probably have a 10. They can have a bunch of stuff. Uh, man, this is really a nightmare. It's a block bet. It is a block bet. Yeah, it's a block bet with a better hand, I think. Not a great situation for us. 10-4. Let's raise sometimes. Check. Let's bet sometimes. Both is fine, I think. It's a 50. Okay. <laughs> Let's check. <laughs> Let's check. <laughs> Roll a 50. 50 out of 100. Lol. Big over bet. We fold. We want Stump to vacuum the chips. Would be great. Except against us, of course. We need a double up to get back tied for second. That's what we need. I don't think it's a great jam here with Queen 7 suited. We're like kind of indifferent. I think it's a limp call a raise. Probably. Probably the best. We definitely want to see a flop with this hand. Um... And if they jam, fine. And fold. Fold. This is a good hand. Very difficult against the open from the button. The range is super wide. Am I protected by flatting here? First impression is to flat call. Uh, Reshoving, I think your hand is not good enough. They're going to play kind of perfectly. Uh, we should probably fold, I think. It just opens up Johannes' shoving range a bunch. We're not that protected either. Here we go. Good luck, us chat, with the king 10 of clubs all in. This would get us to 13 million, I think. Good luck. Hold it. Oh. GG. Unfortunate. Hey, pretty good comeback from 7 of 7 to get third place for 8,600. Uh, it's no art score, unfortunately. Um... It is just shy of that. It could have been a little bit better as well, but a pretty good day. 38.95. 6K profit on the day. We made 6,000 bucks today. That is very good news. And that is a snap of the downswing.